Hello, here I am with artist Lucina Shrinkala Della Rocca and we're going to talk about her Vietnam series of paintings. What about this particular war prompted you so deeply to create? I'm interested mostly in what happens to human beings during a war because I've been in one myself as a child and that affected me quite a lot. So um, it's really the human factor, uh, what was happening to all these people and also the unnecessary cruelty which was imposed on a lot of prisoners uh, here and there, you know, Americans and Vietnamese as well. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on in this painting? It's a huge uh, tub here, you may, may be able to see it, and the you can see the soldier's uh, foot pressing down onto this human being and his head is shoved right at the end there in the corner. It's, it's a horrible thing um, to do that to any human being and I felt a lot of compassion about that. It was just one of the images and it's almost, and the, on the soldier here also there is horror as he's actually performing this. So, you know, there's two things happening here, the horror done to this human being down here and the soldier suffering, really, because of doing this. I mean, he may not have noticed that he was suffering, but his soul certainly must have done. What's going on here? Can you tell this me? Is, this is from BBC News, and it's 1970, uh, 1967. And it was taken directly from BBC News. It was a pilot uh, in the air uh, sending down napalm onto a village somewhere in Vietnam. And he's actually talking and he's saying, oh, I really like to do that. It's great fun. When the, you see them running, you really know you've got them. And that was taken directly from uh, news. This is a print, right? This yes. One? Yes, this is. Yeah. It's a print of the or a larger painting. And how large is the original? About the same size as this one here. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, what's going on in this one? Well, th this one actually is taken from this uh, photograph. I saw this photograph and it shows exactly what Napalm, this pilot in the previous painting, was talking about the effect of Napalm on people, and you can see this child is bound. So, can you tell me what's happening here? Well, this is, these are the aeroplanes going, sending out bombs, mm -hmm. and this you can see that the, they're turning into bodies all down, down here, and it's also. Uh, like uh, bullets coming down but turning into dead bodies at the end here from um, the bombs coming down there. Here uh, you used mixed media. Could you yes. tell me what you used in this one? Uh, this is uh, an, uh, some material called terra ferrata. It's not just clay, it's got iron in it. This is the base of this. Then I used actually a, a toasting grill to sh shape the um, bars here of the prison. It's called prisoner. And I've used these hard nails to keep it all together. Uh, this is simply a prisoner suffering from the result of war and if the spectator looking at this looks closely he can see his own face in the mirror there. So the idea of the mirror is? That's the idea that the, uh, the person is reflected in it and you feel a kind of oneness with the prisoner himself. 
in there. Masked up. What, what was the medium you used here? This is oil, completely done with oil on canvas. You've got these kind of lines going across. It's a very cubist style that's not present in your other Vietnam oh, work. Oh, this was to divide sections so that people can concentrate um, solely on specific images. After taking in all these gas masks and, and things and also images of of what is happening in Vietnam, prisoners, people tortured, people running away, um, and all that, all this drama going on, which is also in the other paintings. Here, if one looks carefully, this area here, you will make out two figures going right across the painting, symbolizing love which shows really that the only hope for this world really is through love. This is a picture, as you see, of quite a young boy, probably about 10 or 11, um, I don't know, but he's being threatened uh, with a knife there. Um, very scary it must have been for him. And so I used this picture, it was a very poignant picture uh, of what was going on there and uh, made a painting around that. The same image as in one of the other paintings, uh, this one here, the tub and the person being pushed under and pushed under with the foot, you know, he, the soldier puts his foot right into the tub and holds his head down that way. And I notice you've made this, the big soldier here, quite skeletal. Yes, it has to show the strength of what is happening. There's a great intent there, a feeling of intention, you know, I'm going to hurt this guy. This painting is really the ultimate human cry of what what on earth can I do? It's about two simple people who have nothing to do with politics, have no power in the world or anything. And they see all these horrors going on around them. And they've come to the point of saying, what on earth can I do? And feeling really helpless uh, with everything that's going on. And I used a quote from T.S. Eliot, which says, and how shall I begin and how shall I resume to count up all the butt ends of my ways and days? And I thought that was, that poem said it all really. They're completely helpless and uh, here also there is a mirror which is broken and the, the spectator, the viewer, looking at this painting can also see themselves. So it brings the viewer and the people in the, in the painting together.